Hello there guys and welcome back to our car modeling tutorial and today what we'll do is let's continue working up and over here laying down our base mesh for our Ford GT. Um, first things first let me jump in and create a new lambda. I'm going to just make this a little bit darker and I'm just going to assign that to that front portion there. Let's maybe make it a little bit darker just so I can kind of start to see the differentiation between the geometry inside here. Okay, so now let's have a think about what's next. So um, I'm fairly happy with what we have down here. We will be adding more detail a little bit later. Um, let's maybe think about going up across the hood, making a little bit more um, progress up the side here. So I'm going to hit Control E, and I'm just going to pull those up on the green there. And before I do anything else, I'm fairly happy with this position. So I'm just going to bring that over here. And what we'll do is we'll kind of use our multiple views here um, to kind of format where we expect these to go. So firstly, we can see that we're a little bit lower than the light themselves. So what we might do is we might go just shy of that crease. So let's maybe take all of these and we'll go just next to that crease. Now, just having a look on my um, reference images and it doesn't look, from what I can see, it doesn't look like there's much of an actual crease there. Um, in terms of like a body line, it looks like it's just a little bit of curvature. So let's run along then up here. And we're just going to maybe follow that line as it moves up there. We'll just follow it along in terms of position. Let's do something like that. Um, I'm going to move this along up here. Have that match. And I'm just going to spread this geometry out a little bit and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay just short of the top because that's what that actual next line will be, that will be the top. So um, let's take these down here, just something like that, looks like it should be quite nice. Um, let's add in a wireframe on here. I'm also going to just hide my wheels really quick. Okay, so I'm going to grab these same edges again. So let's go and take all of these. I'm going to hit Control E. And this time I'm going to move along to that seam. So I'm going to move all the way along here. Let's see. Take that in here. Let's maybe go up there. And then all of this here is going to run straight down this line. be the top of the headlight there and then what we want to do with this is we want to grab all of this here and grab all these vertices and in my side view I'm just going to pull those up and we see that we're roughly sitting on that line already which is good and um, I think I'm missing one down here which we want to come up quite a lot more something like that okay and let's just Have them kind of match in the, dis the the direction that we're we're going in over here. Okay, so that looks like it's going to work out quite nicely for us. So let's maybe take those again. I'm going to hit Control E. And we'll extrude this in, and we'll go maybe maybe what we'll do is let's go the whole way, and we'll just stop shy of the edge of the headlights here. We'll go all the way along here. Okay, so we'll run along something like that just for now. Let's check our front view. So we can see that we need to come a lot further down. So let's drop this down. We can see that there is an actual seam here, um, which is just before that. So maybe what we've done here is we've just kind of landed on where that seam would be in the top view just without the actual line being there in the drawing for us. So let's bring all these down here. Okay. Up there. So we see now that we're starting to get 
a really nice shape up and around that portion just there, which is quite nice. Okay, um, let's think about the front then. So let's take uh, what we have here. Um, just having a look. So I think for the most part we're happy enough. Let's have a think about the next kind of move then. So I think a good shot would be to insert an edge loop in here. I'm just going to drop one in the center. And then with all of them still there, I'm just going to pull, maybe not the whole thing up actually, it doesn't really look too good. So let's maybe pull these ones up. So that's looking, that looks quite good there. Um, let's just make sure that's a bit straighter. So I'm going to pull these all up just a little bit. As we go down there, and I'm also just going to double check in perspective here because this isn't flowing too freely. Um, so let's maybe just make that look a little bit nicer in there, which is good. Okay, so we want to think about how this geometry is kind of going to run around here. Um, obviously, we have our headlight, which we go down here, but we can see we've got a little gap. Um, in between there, between the headlight and the car. If I can just get a better view here in some of the references. So it does look like, like there's a very small gap, um, a really small gap that runs down um, inside there. Let's think then, maybe what we could do is, let's take these three edges here. I'm gonna hit Control E. I'm going to pull those up, something like that, and let's pull them back here. Okay, so this we're going to want to start to think about that curve there. Let's take that one up here. Let's maybe think about the curve around here. I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap between the headlight bit there. What I think we'll do is we've got this edge here. So what I think we'll do is I'm going to hit Control E. I'm just going to pull on the green there. And I'm going to target well this one back there. But I'm going to keep this one here. And this one is going to help us create this corner of the headlight maybe up here for now because we can add another edge down there should we want to and then that can start to form that area there so we can take that in here and then this up there okay so we can do something like that maybe let's drop that down Okay, um, let's go for an edge loop and we'll just drop it here. And before we do anything else, let's just grab in our top view here and just help to form that curve a little bit more. So just something like that. And then let's draw across here. And then we can use this now to help with that shape of the headlight a little bit more. Goes over to the side here, pull them a bit further out. Okay. So just do something like that. So we're gonna want to think about our geometry going this way and then we can kind of merge these together. So let's go and we wanna drop a line across here. So let's insert an edge loop 
just there because that's where these creases kind of start. So let's take that over. And maybe do the same with that one. This one we'll maybe bring over here. Okay. Now I'm not going to need this edge. So I'm going to control and delete that. Um, and maybe what we could do at this point is let's take this one and merge it over there. Let's just merge that one over there too. Okay. So this line here can help us with the headlight. And that one there can run up there. Let's maybe bring a bit more space inside there. Okay. And then I think what we'll do is we'll maybe just pull these up here. Something like that. Okay. So starting to get the shape of the headlight there. Um, the geometry in that area is looking okay for now. Um, when I do smooth that off by hitting 3, we can see that it does curve around there quite nicely. So when we come to adding details, we could maybe add some edits to that, but I think it probably would be okay. Um, so let's go back then inside here. So we need to think about what we're going to do in terms of this gap because we did just kind of seal that off. Um, we've also got this bit here, so let's maybe take this bit first. Now I'm just having a look on the reference images again and this whole bit here is fairly, I'm not going to say subtle, um, but it's not too crazy. I think the best bet would be to maybe take this bit next. So let's go and grab this. Take this over here. Like that. And then we'll maybe have to use our front view for this. Something like that. Oh, that's looking okay. Um, what we could actually do is let's maybe just bring that in here. We'll maybe kind of just match where that stripe is, the go faster stripe. And um, let's take this edge again and let's take this all the way. And do something like that. And we'll do the same. Grab this. Move it up here. Okay. Um, and then what we could maybe do is we could maybe take these. I'm going to hit Control E. Going to target weld that lower one back there. And move this one out to the left, or to the right, should I say? And then take that one out as well. And then I'm maybe going to grab this one, hit Control E, and move this over here. And take that up there. Okay, so do something, something like that. Let's see how we're looking on this view, maybe a little bit higher up here. Okay, so we're just starting to kind of lay out where we want things to, to go. And I think for the most part, that's looking quite nice. So. Um, we do want to start thinking about where our geometry is going to match going along here. Um, we do need to think as well that up here we have a little bit, so maybe it would be nice for this to go up there. So let's maybe turn on our edge slide. And maybe start sliding these edges up here a little bit. And then maybe we could do these ones as well. Maybe something like that. And with that edge slide on, it should have still maintained um, what was looking at there. So that should be okay still. Um, so let's maybe then grab this edge and this edge. I'm going to hit Control E. And again, if we make a mess here, it's okay. We will be coming back and fixing all geometry at some point. I'm just going to target weld all of these together. Actually, before we do that, maybe it would be worth just welding that top one. And then having this one over here to 
give us like a little bit of an extra space going down there. So maybe let's take all of these and hit Control E. And take these in. And I think we'll maybe still be done going down. Yeah, so we still want to be going down at that point. Something like that. And we can see on our front view here that we want this to be going down as well. And then this one we can simply target weld hopefully down here. Okay. So I think that should be looking good. And then in theory we should be able to bridge these together now. I'm going to just grab them both, hit bridge. I'll just make sure we're looking good up here. Which we are. So for the most part that's looking okay. So I'm quite happy with how that's kind of sitting there. We want to now get this portion at the front joint here. So let's maybe draw in some lines up here. And again, these lines are always subject to change. What we're wanting to actually do is we are wanting to get some connection in here um, just now. Okay. And then I think we're going to want to try and bridge these two. Like so. Uh, let's get those moves across as well. Okay. So I think we're wanting that to look something like that. I think we could be quite happy down there. Um, let's maybe see what we could try and do is we could maybe try and run a loop all the way around here. So just for example, we could go all the way around this headlight. For example, we could run all the way around here. Um, these two, is one of these a key edge it is. So we could bring that down there. That looks okay. With these ones here, let's target weld that up there. I can maybe bring all those together and by bringing those together it means we won't need this one anymore and now this one let's just make sure this one's sitting okay I'm gonna just turn x-ray off so we can see a little bit better turn on the edge slide I think the rest is looking okay as it runs up there. Okay, so quite happy with that. Um, at the top here, we've got this little triangle um, where we've got like this kind of double area going on. Um, maybe we'll just leave that just for now as we kind of work the rest of the geometry in in that area. So let's see if we go up here. So this bit looks like it shouldn't be too crazy, but what we want to do is we want to kind of match the geometry. So I think we're going to want another line that runs across here. Um, and it's going to break the kind of flow of the geometry, but it's okay. So we're going to go through here and then all the way across like that. This line, could meet fairly effectively with this one. So what we could do is, let's just turn on edge slide again. Um, we'll put that a bit higher up just so it meets a little bit more effectively. Up there. And then because we've got this going on down here, it might be nice to put in another line across here. So maybe something down here. But actually we do need, turn the x-ray back on, we do need our hood gap in there anyway. 
let's maybe do that as well. Okay. So now we've kind of got paths for all of these to, to go across. Now let's maybe grab these. Let's go for, um, let's bridge these ones together. And then these ones, these ones, and these ones. Do something like that. Because what I think it will be is I think it would actually be easier to um, extrude this down. So if we grab all of these, for example, and hit ex um, Control E. And we just go down here. And do something like that. What we should be able to do is we should be able to form this shape a little bit easier. Um, just get rid of edge. So for example, we can actually draw in this shape. can do something like that. We want that one to remain close. So up here, for example, because there is a body line or panel gap that runs up there. So we want those to run close. But then as we start to get further over here, um, we want this to be, by the looks of it, a lot deeper. Okay, let's get rid of that. Yeah. So what we'll maybe do is let's maybe get rid of that for now because we know that's where the vent is going to be. And what we kind of want is we kind of want maybe something like that. Maybe take this one. Just to make that a little bit less severe. Let's maybe grab all of this. Just take that down a little bit. Okay. So we're going to come down, but then what we actually want is... snap we actually want this to kind of point upwards so it goes down to the point and then the scoops actually come up because obviously the airflow is going to go through here and then out the um, the top of the hood so I kind of want something like that where it goes down and then up so something like that and then these ones here again take back up and just take down a little bit do the same up there. And then this is exactly the same. So we wanted to go down a little bit. Probably to the same point there. So I wanted to go down and then back up. I have to go through there. So I think that looks okay. Um, we're going to want to take these. So this one and this one. I hit Control E and we'll take that one down. Maybe a little bit less, maybe something like that. So we can target weld that up. And then the same on that side. Okay, so it's a little bit awkward looking, um, but I think for the most part, that's how we want it to be. So that these are forming the curve nicer. Okay, so I think I'm happy with that. Um, what we could do is we could maybe get a bit more geometry in here. Let's maybe insert an edge loop. 
and draw this one in. pull it a little to the left here to help curve there and we can see here that um, these bits want to go in this direction want those to be something like that could redraw, so let's redraw this line, maybe down here, and then down here. Something like that. And we could draw this one going down here. We can get rid of that. And we've still got that kind of smooth bit going up there. Okay, so that's looking okay. Um, I think once we get the honeycomb in, it'll look a little bit better. Um, let's maybe grab it. I'm going to hit Control E, and we're going to extrude that down. Something like that. And then that's where our honeycomb will sit. Let's maybe take all of this. I'm going to hit Control E on this too. And we'll maybe just pull that in a little bit. Okay. And then what we can see that that's helped is we can see that that's kind of helped us see over here that it doesn't look very good as we move around. So maybe I'm going to want to grab these ones and move them out and maybe grab these ones and move them in. Something like that. And let's just kind of see how all that sits together. I'm just going to hit Ctrl D, Ctrl G flip that over on negative one. So we're starting to see that that's looking quite nice inside there. Maybe what we could do real quick is let's throw in a box. And this box is going to form for us uh, the, the little bit that runs across here. So let's squish this down. Something like that should work. I'm going to hold down X and let's this interface here. Let's maybe take this one all the way through here. Okay, so let's go, let's grab these front vertices so we can see that that's quite thick. Let's do something like that. So we'll grab all these ones down here. We'll take these ones here. We can see we want to go back and inside there. So it looks like we want to overlap that a little bit. Yeah, so something like that looks like it should work fine. Let's go for insert edge loop on here. I'm going to just drop one roughly in the center. I want to just get some nice curve to this. And we'll go edit mesh. I'm going to go bevel. I'm going to add multiple segments. So a bevel fraction of 0 0.6 and then segments of 3. Um, maybe 0 0.7. Looks like it will be quite nice. It's going to run down there. Um, it looks like it's got like um, a little bit of an extra step. So maybe we could add that in as well. Let's go for a mesh tool. I'm going to insert an edge loop. And it looks like maybe about here. And I think it's just on the bottom. We'll take that, I'm going to hit Control E and drop that down. Maybe 
something like that. Okay, and then I'm tempted to say it even does it one more time. Let's go here. We'll grab those. I'm going to hit Control E, and let's take it down again. Maybe something like that. I'm just looking at reference images. It looks like it does it a couple of times. So I'm going to grab all of those extras and then all the reverse ones. I don't want those either. Um, just going to take any face, take those ones. I'm going to take all the top ones as well. Okay, so I've just deleted it all the way back, so it's just this bit. Um, I'm going to take all of this top edge and hit Control E. And I'm just going to extrude this back so it roughly matches what we have on that lower side there. And then let's take these edges too. I'm going to hit Control E again, and then we're going to move back one more time. Something like that. Okay, so I think that should be fine. Let's add our darker material to that as well. I'll drop that on there. So that's looking quite nice inside there too, ready for that honeycomb mesh. All right guys, so I think we'll stop this episode here. So we've made a lot of progress. Hopefully um, it's looking good. We will obviously add more edits to that portion um, as we go, especially when it comes to uh, the honeycomb mesh and things. But I think in the next episode, we'll start to maybe move down the side of the car. I'm fairly happy with the details that we've got here for now on the base mesh. And when we come back in to add more details afterwards, We'll be able to uh, reorganize a few things um, in that section. I right, guess so if you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will see you in the next one.